Only a miracle can save the people of Chicago. But we have to at least appreciate the fact that most people are ready to leave the Democrat Party. Listen to this. The borders have been open and now we have all these people inundated here in Chicago. And these people are living tax-free of taxpayer dollars and our own citizens are sleeping and don't have anywhere to go. I think it's a damn shame and the American people and patriots across this country should be outraged and we should be holding these Democrats accountable for the actions they've taken against this country and our American way of life. We need to get Donald Trump back into office because under the Trump leadership, black people first. Trump was good for the black community as we know of it. We didn't have no wars. We wasn't begging nobody for nothing. We was well respected in the world. And now we're the laughing stock of the world. We have no morals and values and the American people deserve better. We deserve a president like Donald Trump. And by the way, Democrats, as a pastor and a true man of God, it is my job to make sure that we get God-fearing people in office. You will not come to Chicago and you will not celebrate the things that you've done. You've spit in the black community face we will boycott that convention and let the Democratic Party know no longer are we going to sit back and watch you destroy our communities and destroy this country. God bless America. We're seeing increased taxes. We're struggling to pay our mortgages. We're struggling to pay our bills. Um, and we have thousands of dollars every month, millions of dollars, $500 million this year to support foreign nationals. And that's coming out of our pocket. It's going to people from another country, from foreign nationals. Those, those countries have to take care of their people. We just don't have the resources. You know, it's nothing against them, but we, we just don't have it. You know, we're struggling. This is government oppression at its finest. As a veteran myself, I just talked to a veteran in this tent right here. You know, we're seeing people who have given their all to their country and they're just, we just cast them out by the expressway with the trash. This is unconscionable this, and it's unconstitutional. Meanwhile, we have to follow every law. We can't go over the speed limit without getting a ticket sent to our house, but people can violate federal law and we come in and roll out the welcome mat, I give them our home equity, give them our sales taxes. They get the, the best of our schools. Meanwhile, some like 90% of black children are not reading, writing, and doing math and proficiency, but they do it all under the guise of this fake diversity, equity, and inclusion nonsense. We just need to start voting differently. We need to start pulling ourselves out of these government institutions, starting with the public school system. We need to move on from, from big government and from the city of Chicago's political machine. Trump 2024? Trump 2024. You're going to bring and bring in a new group of children, a new group of people, take those resources away from Americans to accommodate this new group of people. They pay to be homeless basically now as United States citizens. We're gonna flip Chicago red. The Democratic Party is done in Chicago. And that's a fact. By summer, you think it's a lot of them coming in. You watch the uprising of red in Chicago. And we say, President Trump, come here and we'll walk you all through this city and you don't have to worry about a protest. We send a message to the Democratic Party, Trump 2024, make no mistake about it. For Trump 2024. Okay, first off, let me thank Ben Burkham for these interviews down in Chicago. He's doing the Lord's work. Thank you, sir. Now, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. It will take way more than people just talking on social media for us to see some type of change in Chicago. Because just in case you didn't know, Chicago is America's most corrupt city for the fourth year in a row. And Illinois is the third most corrupt state. So there's no coming back from this. Matter of fact, here's a video that was posted about a week ago. Please listen to this. Take a live look at our Fox News drone over in Eagle Pass. They have had another mass illegal crossing out there. You can see hundreds upon hundreds of illegal immigrants waiting for processing there. You might be able to see a bridge off in the background. That is where the trains come in. Well, CBP has announced they are suspending railway operations to move CBP officers down into the field to help Border Patrol with processing. In other words, Harris, they're shutting down international commerce in order to help speed up 
processing of these migrants. Many of them, again, will be released. And back out here live, mm -hmm. December is traditionally one of the slowest months at our southern border. But uh, the Border Patrol Union tells us right now their numbers show they are on track to potentially have the highest single month of arrest they have ever had at our southern border. We'll okay, now where do you think these illegal migrants are going? Exactly, sanctuary cities, Chicago, New York, California. And you know what the crazy part is regarding this whole chaos created by Democrat? The crazy part is the fact that there is no limit regarding how many people those sanctuary cities can welcome in. There's no limit. And guess who's paying for it? The taxpayers. Exactly. You can thank Democrat for that. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. God bless you. Catch you on the next one. Trump 2024? Trump 2024.